Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hey friends, and welcome back to Daily Dose Radio. This is your home for five-minute Bible study, fresh every day, and we are in the classroom of the Word of God, a little classroom that the psalmist has created for us that we affectionately call Psalm 119. And in Psalm 119 now, we've covered the first four verses. Today, we begin verse 5. So we're going to begin in verse 5 and look at verses 5 and 6 today. And we have a treat because today the psalmist speaks up and we hear his cry. And actually, it's a little bit of a lament. So I hope you'll stay stay tuned now because this is going to be good. Let me read my translation of verses 5 and 6. Oh, that my ways were directed to keep your statutes. Then I would not be ashamed when I look to all your commandments. Wow. So the psalmist now speaks up. What have we done so far? We've described the blessed ones. Blessed are the ones who are perfect in the way. Blessed are those who keep his testimonies, who seek him with the whole heart. So those people, they're out there. They're being described. They have... They have come to faith in Christ. They have found um, a relationship with the Lord. And then more description in 3 and 4. They work no unrighteousness. They walk in his way. You have commanded your precepts to be kept diligently. This is the bridge verse, verse 4, to what the psalmist now is going to say in 5. Oh, that my ways were directed to keep your statutes. You see, in 5 it says... You've commanded your precepts to be kept diligently. The psalmist now breaks through with this lament and says, Oh, I wish my ways were directed to keep your statutes. Why? Because he sees the blessedness of these people who have been keeping and have been seeking with the whole heart. And he wants that for himself. So we're in the classroom. Here we're having the object described. We're having the the blessing of that object described to us. And now as the students, we say, oh, that's what I want for myself. How do I get there? Because if only my ways were directed to keep the statutes, and here we have another one of those words that's synonymous with the Word of God. Actually, there are seven of them here in this first piece, this, these first eight verses. We have uh, testimonies, precepts, his way is mentioned, his statutes, and his commandments here in verse 6. So he's, the psalmist is saying, oh, I wish I could have that. If only my ways were directed to keep your statutes. And again, we have our action word. Notice, keep. So those who keep his testimonies, his commandments or precepts have been given to be kept diligently. The psalmist says, Oh, I wish my ways were directed to keep your statutes. So we're keeping again. And then verse 6, Then I would not be ashamed when I look to all your commandments. So the psalmist is feeling something very sensitive here. He's feeling as if he's excluded from the blessedness because he's ashamed when he looks at the commandments because he's not keeping the commandments. So all the commandments... You know, if you sin in one, you're guilty of all. He's saying, I I can't look at them. I can't even look at them, let alone keep them, let alone walk in them, let alone seek you with my whole heart because I'm ashamed. Well, this is the experience of all of us, isn't it? All of us here sitting in this classroom today can say, can raise our hands and say, yes, that's me too. I can't even look at them because I know my sin condition. I know why I can't look at them. I know the thing I've done that's broken those commandments. Then I would not be ashamed, but I can't because I am ashamed. I'm ashamed of what I've done. I'm ashamed of who I am or where I've been or what's happened to me. There's a lot of shame that keeps us from focusing on the Word of God. Friend, let me tell you something. There is mercy and grace to help. God loves you. He sent his son to die on the cross for you. There is no reason for you to be condemned. You need to seek him and ask him for the forgiveness of your sins. Okay, join me tomorrow. We're going to look at verses 7 and 8 on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. 
Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.